Hi, Trini. Hi, Jemima. How are you? Oh, great. How are you? Good. Do you know what today we're doing? Well, there's some new pieces on this rail. There are. Today it's about things I have bought since I started shopping again. And it was my birthday a couple of weeks ago. And it's things people gave me. It's like, what is new in the wardrobe? And it seemed quite a lot. But there's some things that actually were from maybe December you hadn't seen yet that I bought in the sale. I thought I'd start off with these pyjamas. And I was given these by a really old friend of mine called Jane for my birthday. And you always ask me about necklines, all right? So I am very consistent in the kind of necklines I wear. I don't often wear v-necks and I don't often wear wide v-necks, all right, like that. Necklines have a huge influence on how ageless we can dress. And when I say that, I'm not just talking to 40 to 70 year old women. It's about finding a style that suits your shape and the way that your body is going down the path of life. Because okay. I think when you're younger, you can do tons of different necklines. It might be that you honor the shape of your boobs and you always have a bit of a V, but you know, you can get to a stage in life where if you have a bigger boob, you might think, I don't want to show so much cleavage. I'm not so confident about that skin there. When I sleep, because I've got that menopausal boob, I sort of created a few lines. So a neckline that used to be like this for you, then it becomes an issue. Mm -hmm. But for me, it's other things that influence my neckline. So I have a very long neck. So I always feel that if I wear a top like this, which is a bit open, and it goes down quite far, that I feel very long here. And I feel my face becomes narrower. How can I best frame my face? Okay. So whenever I have something like this, which I love, it's a pajama, I never wear it like that because that's just not me. So what I'll always do first is get a safety pin. I love the pattern of these. I think the color's lovely. And I do like to wear pajamas outside the house. So the first thing I will do is I will close it up and just make it this neater line that works better for me as a shape for around my neck just to give myself color. So that's my step one, like that. And then I'm gonna tuck in a bit because it's actually got a very nice fastening at the front of these pajamas. They're not that gathered front, so they really have that indoor outdoor look. Oh, nice. And I love that little grow grain ribbon. And that I will always undo so that the top button that's been undone, I take over a bit because sometimes if you do the half tuck and you might be concerned your tummy's showing. So I always go a little bit further over so it's as if that's wrapping. And then I get that elongation of the leg, that one side, and then I get that kind of casualness the other. Then phase two could be, do I feel that the shape of the top is quite narrow? You know, I'm broader here, so the proportion is more A-line because we talk a lot about the proportion of things hanging beautifully. So then I could consider, shall I put my friend underneath it? I'm sorry I came out with skincare and I didn't come out with the shoulder padded top first because I know many of you were very disappointed. But if I put this under this, I will show you again what a difference it makes. So now I've got something that people are coming for dinner and I've gone from out of my bed in these pajamas to a bit of a shoulder pad structure, a nice tuck in and a really pretty earring. These ones Susanna gave me from earlier. Oh, it looks just like a cord, really, it's doesn't really it? It's really nice, isn't it? And you might have a lot of things like this in your house, and it's about how can you make them more sophisticated? And then I might say, oh, I'm going to go out, and I've got here one of the new things that I want to see. Do I have enough different ways to wear it? It's a Zara coat in Sullivan Green, and would I wear it to go out like that with it? And does the colour go well or not? I think it is really well. Do you like that? Yeah. Quite. This is fabric, and it's a dropped raglan sleeve it's sort of now not giving it the chicness it had. So I wouldn't do that. Is there anything else I would do? This is River Island. Do you remember I had this coat a while ago and it, they've done it again slightly oversized and it's now taking the pink of the pajamas. I think the green and the pink are really pretty together. But do we prefer that? I think we do. Yeah, do we prefer that? Yeah. So much more joyous and fun. Can I just make a note that if you keep coats, always remember to remove what makes them look cheap. You know, I will keep these because I love these pajamas, but at the moment, for me, it's definitely an indoor look. Yes. And the final one to try. Both of those coats had a drop shoulder. I need to continue that straightness and sharpness of shoulder and the softness of that. It doesn't make the pattern look old fashioned and it's keeping proportions nice. I feel like having a sequin and not another color doesn't fight it either. It just lets it shine, doesn't it? Very true. That's why a sequin jacket is one of the most fail-safe things in anyone's wardrobe. What makeup are you wearing, Trini? I've got on Lip Cheek and Lady J, Faith on the Eye, Justice on the Inner Eye, Chloe on the Lip, mushed together with Lady J. So kind of neutral. 
and yeah. a tiny bit of sheer shimmer in Katie. Cool, next time, thanks. Some of you might recognise this. Do you recognise this from last year? Yes. So I got it from Zara. I hardly wore it because I think we were going into winter. And I got, just before Christmas, a coat in the sale. It was last summer's uh, coat. And I've always liked this colour. And when I got this, I remember I loved this colour, but I don't have much of it in my wardrobe. It was actually the only colour I had in my wardrobe. So. This is about building up a colour in your wardrobe that you know you love and you know suits you, but is very rare to find. Building up the lilac. So this was the first lilac bits I ever got in my wardrobe. And then I got this Victoria Beckham jacket, and I thought, is that gonna work with it? And can I work with it? So I haven't tried it together yet. What do we think? Does it work with it? Yeah, it's lovely yeah. and oversized. It's nice and oversized, isn't it? Mm. Oversized is something, one of the trends this season. Because what I also did is I thought, what socks do I wear? And I sort of liked the weird mustardness of this sock. You know, I was thinking, all oh, weird to do, but I, I actually love the mismatch mm. of that. Yeah, it's a luxurious feeling colour, isn't it? It is, and it's, it's sort of those two together feel really luxurious. Yeah. So I'm very happy with that. That's going to be a spring look. You know, we talked about trends last week, so it's got a bit of the oversized and stuff. And, it's bringing new life, so I'm really happy with that. But I, the whole purpose here was thinking, is it a mistake that I bought this coat in the sale? Because I hadn't really, it's a sort of spring coat, and I haven't had a chance to try it. And I wanted to have that big, big place in my life. So this is the coat, and it was that classic Dove Market moment, which is either from Harvey Nichols or Dove Market, and it was 90% off. So it's Jill Sander, and it's got that lilacness to it, and I'd sort of wear it like this. So I haven't even taken the label out yet. Perfect length. Perfect length, yeah. Does yeah, it work? Yeah, yeah. Do we like it together? Cool. I mean, it is really oversized and oversized sometimes can be a bit tricky. So it's how can you wear it so you feel comfortable with it. A lot of it is about how my hair is. So if my hair feels bigger, right like that then I reduce the width of the oversizedness because my hair goes further out mm -hmm. so for me oversized sometimes it's better my hair's like that than wearing it on days where my hair is a bit dirty like that and you just feel the contrast in how broad it is yeah okay I see. so I kind of think about how my hair is when I consider oversized mm. right. um, and then with this coat what you can do is also belt it so it gets more elegant but then how is the skirt length if I have it like that? I'm a little bit um, Hilda Batty. <laughs> so it doesn't work when things are closed and then suddenly the focus, because you haven't got the flow around the skirt, those tights are looking a little bit odd. So what I do know is you need that flow underneath to get that to work. Yeah, we need to see the yellow to you make the tights the work. So it will work like this open, but now I've got to think, how else can I get this working for me? because I love the colour, and the colour is actually a really lovely soft colour. It's kind of what I wore years ago, when my hair was blonder, and now my hair's getting blonder a bit. It's suiting me a little bit more yeah. again. Yeah, Lilac's having a real moment, isn't oh, it? So is, but I still need to find its position in the wardrobe. So for this, I really need some kind of lip to wake me up, because I have had a very late night, and it's like <sighs> So I could either just be so neutral, and if I had woken up with really just feeling amazing. But I'm going to take a colour that goes with both the lilac and the citrus, which is Valentina Lip Love. So much better. <sighs> Waking up. I love this coat and I want to make it work. And there's probably many other things I can do in my cover. I could do a full yellow suit underneath. But now I'm getting the inspiration of the colours that I'll be wearing it with. So definitely that really bright yellow. This is the Zara shirt. These trousers, Serena Beauty. So dove grey is lovely with lilac. I'd probably wear it with white, like a sharp, big white shirt underneath would look fabulous. I could do it with neon top from Essentials Antwerp and have that poking out the end, the yellow. I could even, this is a very weird one, would I do salmon? Maybe, you know, it could work with that. What I would avoid is I would avoid going purpley. I just think then it kind of goes to old lady lilac and you want to bring it to fresh, new lilac. Uh, would I go to any pinks? I wouldn't. 
I think pink and lilac don't look good. Would I do burgundy with it? Maybe, that's quite nice. Um, would I do blue with it? No, it's too close, there isn't that nice clash. This is another beautiful colour to wear with this, is that colour green. But that's if I want to take it to winter. So okay. I can have a sort of green suit underneath with that and be beautiful together because it's nearly the opposite sides of the colour wheel. Yeah, lovely. So that's where I'm thinking to myself, okay, did I make the right decision? Even though it was off price-wise, it was still expensive. And then bag-wise, the, the obvious one is I could go for sort of a neon bag, all right, like that. But there's a bag that I bought last year, and I haven't worn it yet, from Dusty Air Collective, an old bag from Prada. And I'm thinking, actually, does that work? But I love that. I, just, I love this bag. And I remember this print. I, I think I won't buy a new bag again because if you think of all the beautiful bags in life that have been made and I got this and you know I've had some very bad mistakes the best year collected this was the best one I did of that insane bag roll um so very happy in that yeah it takes me in spring beautifully I can always then push this up later and have the yellow poking out yeah and that lip is gorgeous it's with good it. as lip because Valentina is a lip that whenever I'm thinking I'm feeling tired and flat I'll put this on when I'm wearing cooler colours mm. and it will bring them to life. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Next <gasps> outfit. This is something that I got, first thing I bought really when um, I went back shopping again. It's a, it's a three piece from Zara. Now, I'm going to show you now how I wore it when I wore it all together. Okay, let's now go on to the outfit. I like this. It's a shirt that's open, so I put a safety pin here to do it up. Excuse me. I'm going to put on the jacket. You might think pattern and pattern and pattern and pattern, and I think actually it sort of makes the pattern subtler when there's more pattern everywhere, so we can wear it like that. Yeah, I'm feeling it. But it's bloody cold today, so we need a coat. Furry 70s vibe, don't we think? For that kind of even more 70s moment, I'm going to then put on a pair of glasses just to feel utterly cool white glasses. Reserved old coat, Zara, Prada. So, um, the joy, the joy of a new outfit. But the only thing when you do something like that is you can get a sort of obsession because you can see how excited I was buying it and three pieces I love because it makes everything work. But I wouldn't have wanted to keep it unless I felt there's many other ways I could wear it. So today is about how else would I wear those three pieces, all right? So this could be a sort of, you know, cold night out with girlfriends when you want to look a bit fun and funky, but you don't want to look like you've worn a dress. So those work, do you see the length? I got them in a size large because the medium, I thought if, you know, I fluctuate, I'd mm. actually buy two sizes because they weren't hugely expensive. I'm going to take my old TSC cashmere coat there, which is really long, so I do need a high heel to wear it with. Okay. I think those trousers work with that. And it's a nice clean look. And it's sort of about very conservative things like that. And then you get the sort of flash yeah. of the front trouser. If I wanted to sort of jazz this up, I might think is there any color in here that I would make into a detail over? Cause it's all very plum and deep. Mm -hmm. So let's see what we got. I could just do a plain cream bag. Cause this is sort of weird. It's sort of like the softest flush plate, but it might be that it's sort of that, you know, and I could just bring some lightness to it and decide to do a bag over like that to bring some lightness. What do we think? I like where it's going. You like where it's going. Yeah. All right. So it's going, but it's not there. The train has not arrived in the station. So then maybe we actually need to think about the warmth. Burgundy loves gold more than silver. So just to give it a bit of Sure, maybe one might do that. Yeah. This is probably my best bet because I wouldn't go towards another print. So yes, I'd probably do that. Lovely. So that's two ways I'm wearing it. But we need a lot more than two ways. How many? Six or ten ways. Okay. Otherwise it's like, no, this is not working. So next up, taking off this and I'm going to see it's getting to spring. I want the trousers still to have that place in my wardrobe. I'm now going to go to a trainer and I'm going to go to my big trainers. I don't know if the trousers are wide enough, but I feel it needs the height because they just do. And a Molly found this top from phase eight. But what I liked is it had elements of the color and the size and the sort of abstractness of the print had a similarity to them like that. But we are slightly saying it's a bit spring. So I'm going to take off the honor lip glow and go a bit more. So I'm going to honor the orange and get a little bit of that orange and put it on my lip from Shasha. Lip to cheek. Immediately feeling spring is in the air. Shasha always does it for me. And I'll put a tiny bit 
on my cheek. Not too much, because the pigmentation lip to cheek is just so intense, you don't need much. But I do want that hint that it's also gone on the rest of my face. And the spring is in the air, so I might have some flashy glasses. And, um, and I've got a fun lip. And I could think to myself, would I do an orange coat? I could do an orange coat. Would I do a color that would combine all of these? Would I do something totally alien and different like that? I mean, let's just see what I do that. Would know, that just be mad and doable like that? This is so cool. It's so loud. It's so loud, but you know, loud and proud, really. <laughs> I mean, I'd say at this point, Shasha maybe should be having a baby with Pia, but there's something fun about that clash print, mag glasses look and just not giving a fuck. Yeah, it's fab. Otherwise, I could do a jacket. Because this is something that I don't know if I should keep, and this is a blazer, and the fabrication is not that good. So, does that work? No, it's blah. That's kind of cool. I don't think the color is amazing with that print. No, it just doesn't work. It just sort of, it needs another print. Yes. Would you use the original jacket of the trousers? Or I is so that too can. busy? I can. It's just, this is then the jacket yeah. with, without Different the, um, yeah. So, like that there. I can do that easily, mm. yeah? That's lovely. How does that feel? Spring, it feels spring. Let's have a look. Yeah, it does feel spring, actually. I like it. Is there anything I could put over it to bring everything together? We need to bring out the burgundy onto the coat. Do you remember my old friend, the orange bag? Yes. So that's when you always remember there's friends there for a reason that you think you'll get rid of and then you won't. The reason you don't is because then suddenly you've got the burgundy and these colors and they're all coming together and there's like, we have some synergy and then I could do that. <sighs> You could just play with glasses and think, is there anything that would make it? Or would you want to go softer playing glasses and get the, the orange feeling of it and be more subtle so that this glass doesn't overtake the whole look? That's cool. That's changed the subtlety of it. Yes. Yeah? Okay. And it is. Now I'm thinking, these trousers really could have a place, but does the jacket have a place? So this is the first way to wear the jacket. It's winter. Um, I could wear it with a coat over or I could wear it with gilet over it. This is the really old Zara coat, which had the dropped sleeve and was a really bad coat for me. And we put some shoulder pads in it and we made it a gilet. It just makes such a difference to create another piece. If you've got some old coats and they're sort of boring or maybe the moss got to the sleeves, chop off the sleeves, put a shoulder pad in, tuck in the fabric underneath, make a gilet. How about the lip? I don't think it's working with this outfit. I don't think it is either, let's just see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get sheer shimmer and Nisha, because it's literally the colour of my shirt, and see if that takes it to another place. The layering. A hype. Hmm. 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 See that subtlety of that colour coming through? It's quite good. It's sort of winter's not quite over, but spring is in the air kind of lip. Wow, I want to see this lip. It's quite good. I mean, shasha, lip to cheek, and then over it, Nisha, sheer shimmer. Yeah, I would never have thought to do that. So I do love this, and I think it works. And I think I've got a way to wear the jacket so it feels easily a part of something else. Yeah. Yeah? Do you feel good about it? Yeah. Do love we feel synergy? I should keep the suit? I think you should keep the suit. Okay. I'd still think I could wear this also with jeans and a big white shirt. I could wear it with a t-shirt and a few change and a kind of like a white loose trouser, mm -hmm. so all white underneath. So it really has got the ability, it's got the depth in its print to be great for winter, but it's got the fun of the abstractness of the print to be great for summer. Lovely. Would you wear it with another colour? Yes, I might wear it with a crazy other colour. Should we look at one crazy other colour? Okay. So for this, I think the colours aren't totally working, so I'm just going to take off this look. I might just go straight to something like Lila, actually, which has got the oranginess to it. But it's not trying to match the top. Which I love the idea of the orange. So with this, I probably would really pull it up, you know, just have a little bit less of the print and more of the orange. So the orange is saying, hey, I'm really here. But then what I might also do is block the amount of print at the front so that the trouser can have a sort of more streamlined relationship. So you really, you see lots of the orange at the sides, but you have that going on at the front like that. So how does that feel? Yeah. Do we like that? 
I feel like it makes the orange pop. I think it makes the orange pop too. That works. Yeah, I but love those thumb holes. I know, so do I. But you know what I know this jumper will go well with? This! <laughs> so I was given this by a really old friend of mine, Amanda, for my birthday. And she got it from a shop called Ad Hoc, which we all love. It's got weird, wacky things in Don King's Road. It's been around since I was born, even not before. And it's just a sort of faux fur, funny gilet. And I just, the colours are so just childhood playground. But in a way, having it with the burgundy at the bottom, and burgundy and lilac I like, and then the orange is actually in it. I just, I love it. I just yeah. kind of wear it today. And feel it just happy. melts into your arms, that colour. It melts color. into my arms. It's taking the strongest colour in it and just going for it. Lovely. I know, so we love that, don't we? Yeah. Can we have okay. a twirl? We have a twirl. All right, darling, come and sit down. It's been such a mishmash, but it was the best I could do having gone to bed at four in the morning and having such a long week. You know, we can get things that sort of come into our wardrobe sideways. I always do this thing in February where I'm so excited to go shopping again because I haven't shopped for a while that I can make my biggest mistakes. So it's mm. when I most need to review them in my cupboard and think, really or not? I quite like the idea of what are the 10 things I couldn't live without in my wardrobe. 10 things that go on hangers yeah. and 10 things that could go in a very small drawer, but they make a big impact. So until next week, and please leave your comments and other ideas. And thanks, Molly, and thanks, Jemima. Thank you. Have a Bye. Bye.